Hi! Happy Deaf Awareness Week! Um, so I'm Ella, I'm 17 and I have more eyeliner to do. So I'm going to put you down there for a second. Hi, my name is Kirsty, I'm 19 and I'm deaf. Hi, I'm Sky. I'm 20 years old and I am deaf. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lewis, I am 13 years old. Hi, my name is Sophie and I'm 20 years old and I currently work in a local primary school supporting deaf children from the age of 3 up to 11. Hello, my name is Helen and I'm 16 years old. Hello, my name is Henry and I am 15 years old. Hi, my name is... Charlie and I live in the Isle of Man. I am six years old. Hello, my name is Sophie and I'm 17. My name is Matthew Muir and I am 19 years old. Hi, my name is Dina, I'm 18 and I'm from London. Hello, my name is Bethan and I'm 26 years old and this is my death story for Deaf Awareness Week. So, I mean, first off, jewelry absolutely i'm being semi-serious right because if you look like cochlear implants and hearing aids they give you so much opportunity to show off your ears and make them sparkly so i like that also when i'm signing and i've got all of the rings on it's amazing it does give you the opportunity to stand out like you know if you're in a group and you're all exactly as good as each other but one of you is deaf who are they going to remember they're going to remember the deaf one so it's a great opportunity to be able to stand out. What I love about being deaf is having a bit of a different experience. Sometimes it's difficult, but sometimes it's really amazing. So I have access to the community, um, sign language, and actually it's really fulfilling. Like being deaf has given me a lot of opportunities. What's the best thing about wearing your special ears? I like, I can hear things and I, my, I like be playing with my friend with my ears and they're fun to wear. What I love about being deaf is the ability I have to empathise with people who have other disabilities and the fact I can choose when I want to hear clearly or not by turning on or off my hearing aids. The main thing I love about being deaf is we have such a supportive and encouraging community. Everyone's so you know, inspiring, everyone's so encouraging to um, really push for their goals and I think that's so lovely. What I like about being deaf is that I can switch off my hearing aid when things are too much. Also, I, I can take out my hearing aid when I go to bed. I love being deaf because that's who I am and I'm part of a community. What I also love about it is more recently seeing death representation on TV with Rose Ellen Ellis on Strictly Come Dancing, who I thought was absolutely amazing. It was great to see someone like me on TV and to have that role model for young deaf children that I didn't have when I was younger. As Rose said on Strictly, it is a joy to be deaf. I was school captain of Calderhead High School in Sorts last year and I did a deaf awareness lesson which the teachers delivered to the pupils. So as a young deaf adult, for me being deaf means helping to create that awareness of deafness and our culture and to try and help fight the barriers that we face in society today. My favourite thing about being deaf is definitely the deaf community. I have friends that I can relate to and we're also close-knit. We all share experiences and I appreciate them. I love being deaf. I'm not gonna lie, growing up I hated it. I was like, I wish I was never deaf and used to throw a tantrum about it, but now I love it. I just love it. There's so many benefits to being deaf. There are some that are not so good and it can be quite scary, but there are quite a lot of benefits to being deaf. You can get a peaceful night's sleep. You could pretend that you've not heard somebody and you're like, oh, I'm not really in the mood to talk. I'll just pretend I didn't hear them. 
Being deaf can be a challenge to fight for the support that you need, but one thing that I do love about being deaf is being able to meet people from across the UK that I wouldn't have otherwise have met and to be able to come together and campaign about stuff that matters to us. What I love about being deaf is that I always have been deaf, so it's always been a part of who I am and a part of my identity, but it doesn't define who I am. Like I'm not just deaf, there's more to me than my deafness. Um, because I have one ear, what I always loved was when I was little, and growing up, um, if I was ever getting into trouble with my parents or there was ever any arguments or things I didn't want to listen to, I could just put my finger in my left ear and I had comp complete silence and I had no idea that I'd been told off. And I could still carry on eat, especially if it is at the dinner table, and I could carry on eating my dinner. That was always great, that was always a bonus. Uh, when people say that they can hear the rain and the thunderstorms and that keeps them awake of a night, for me, I don't hear that because I can roll onto my left ear and block it out completely and I'll get a great night's sleep. Nothing's going to stop you. Definitely doesn't stop you from doing anything. If you work hard enough and you're determined enough, you can and you will achieve it. There are ways of doing it. So absolutely go for, go for your dream jobs, do it. And don't ever let anybody tell you you can't. We have so many more opportunities. Being deaf is the best thing ever to happen to me. And so that's really lovely. Um, so being deaf to me means often having to work a lot harder to communicate with people. It's always having to think like that one step ahead in terms of access and communication. And sometimes that can be tiring. So being deaf is a big part of me. Um, it will always be a big part of me, but I try not to let it really define me because I want I want people to know that I am more than that. I am more than being deaf. What does deafness mean to me? Well, being deaf is part of who I am and I have the deaf community, which is very special to me. However, there are also negatives as we are deaf in a hearing world in which we don't get much access, but I'm still proud to be deaf either way. For me, being deaf is a part of me. I like to own it. And without my deafness, I feel like I wouldn't be myself. My deafness is one of my disabilities and that it's helped me see a different perspective of things that others without a disability wouldn't. Deafness means to me that I can switch off if everything is too noisy in classrooms or if I just get fed up and not want peace and quiet. Being deaf it doesn't affect me, it's not like I'm ashamed of it. Growing up I was ashamed but now it's like, yeah, I'm deaf and you know, that's like I said, I love being deaf, it's just amazing and obviously there are some things that scares me about being deaf but it really does not bother me at all, it's who I am, it's part of me. So that's how I feel. Being deaf to me means, just quite simply, I can't hear things that other people maybe can and that I hear in a different way to what they can. So for a number of years, I could only hear through my bone anchored hearing aid and my hearing aid. Um, over the last few years, I have become unaided through no choice of my own, but it's just something that's happened. Um, so I hear in a different way. Um, and for me, it also means that I struggle with locating sounds. So, for example, if I was crossing the road, I might hear a car, but I might not know, is it coming from my left, my right, from behind me, in front of me? Has it already been? Is it coming? Things like that I struggle with. But that's OK, because everybody struggles with something. I think, like... You have so much choice, so much more choice than hearing people. Because on a day, I can choose to have my implants off, I can choose to have them on. So it's like if I want to listen to music or I want to listen to conversation, then I'll have them on. But if not, I can just be in my own, my own world, which, again, hearing people can't do that. And I think that kind of surprises a lot of them that it is so flexible. Like, it's not really a problem or a limitation. I mean, we get given hearing technology which my implants are basically like AirPods. I can listen to music through them. It's great. One thing that I think surprises people about being deaf is that for me, I don't hear complete silence. And think, I think people get confused about being able to hear that someone is talking and actually hear and understand what they're saying. So quite often, 
if someone like starts talking to me I'll know that they're speaking so I might turn around but it doesn't mean I understand what they're saying because the speech quite often will like blend into one all the sounds particularly through my hearing aids what might surprise people about being deaf um I think people have an image in their head that we we can only do certain things and I think especially nowadays people are so pushing the boundaries and people are really proving to hearing people that we can do what we want we can do anything that we want to do so people just really underestimate us being deaf is that we can do absolutely anything that we can put our mind to what would surprise them is that deafness is a spectrum and that everyone has a different amount of hearing meaning we all communicate in different ways depending on what we prefer I can play the guitar, some people may think because I am deaf that I wouldn't be able to play a musical instrument. What might surprise people about being deaf? Well, number one, deafness is a spectrum. No one is the same, we are each different with our own identities. Some deaf people can talk, some choose oralism over sign language. And that's okay. It doesn't mean that they can hear really well. Speech does not equal hearing ability. So what always, always surprises people is when I tell them that I'm deaf. And it's almost like they expect me to look completely different. And they say, oh, you don't sound deaf. You don't look deaf. And it's like, what am I supposed to look like? What am I supposed to speak like? And what also really surprises people is that you're deaf, but you've got an accent. One thing that might surprise people about being deaf is that it's not as simple as just putting on hearing aids and being able to hear perfectly again. But with the right accommodations and support, deaf people can do whatever they want to do in life. What surprises people the most about me being deaf is that I can speak. And apparently I speak quite well for a deaf person. Something I don't agree with people saying, but that surprises a lot of people that from looking at me apparently you can't tell that I'm deaf um all obviously taboo uh subjects and myths that are not obviously true um I also get oh you can't be deaf because you're not old so again that surprises a lot of people when I'm older I would love to work for um a charity or in government working on policy I really believe like that's the way to create change and I'm really passionate about that and um, I'm also passionate about the environment so I would love to work for an environmental charity as well I think being deaf is what has actually sparked my passion for that because I've seen things that don't work and aren't accessible and it's made me realize quite how important it is that people that have experiences share those because that's the only way that other people learn and other people make can make changes so when I'm older, um, um, I've always wanted to be a veterinary nurse. So I am currently studying at university towards that. I'm starting an HND at City of Glasgow College to become a sports journalist. When I'm older, I'd love to go to university and potentially do a psychology degree. I'd also love to campaign for deaf awareness and accessibility to fight against discrimination. When I'm older, I would love to be an occupational therapist, physiotherapist or sports psychologist. Really, anything to do with sport or healthcare because I'm passionate about both of them. When I am older, I want to be a conservation and dog farmer. Just because I'm deaf doesn't mean I can't do everything anyone else can. I can join in conversations with my hearing friends. I even want to be a farmer or a conservationist. So when I'm older, I'd love to be a teacher for deaf. It's something that I've always wanted to be. And I'm sort of stage one at the minute, supporting deaf children at um, a local primary school. And it's, it's sort of a lovely job already. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a policeman because I like cats and rabbits. <laughs> uh, what I want to do when I'm older is I'd like to work in a hospital and be a doctor. And hopefully I'm going to be going to university in September to follow that path.
you know, I know a lot of the opportunities I've had so far are only because my dad knows. And a lot of them really is because a lot of them that I will get in the future, I will get because I'm deaf and because people remember me. So I want to be like an actor, a director, all of that. My deafness is going to get me there. So just wait and see. So the one thing I would change about people's um, deaf awareness is I want people to know that we're not asking them to do anything major. I just little things such as looking at us when you're speaking so we can see your lips, making sure your lips aren't covered, making sure you repeat things if we've misheard something. Just little things like that will really like it will just really help us and really we really appreciate it and it just makes us feel involved in the conversation. There are a couple of things I would change about people's deaf awareness. First is that we can interrupt conversations but we don't mean to. For an example, we are waiting for our turn to speak and when someone stops talking, we might not be aware that person is pausing before continuing to speak and are not finished with what they are saying. Also, if we ask something to be repeated, never say, oh, it doesn't matter. Because by saying that, it can make us feel quite isolated and our opinion in a conversation does not matter. Things I would change for deaf awareness would be, number one, access in the education system. The education system is awful and definitely needs better access for deaf people. Hospital appointments need to provide access for deaf people. Again, this is awful and needs to change. Being deaf is not a one-size-fits-all. It's a spectrum with a range of identities. And a lot of people think deaf people are limited because they can't hear. It's not true and needs to be destigmatized. The one thing I would change about people's deaf awareness is just just learn the basics of sign language that is all i would really say just keep eye contact don't cover your mouth because it might be a bit reading don't stand directly in the sunlight because it's quite hard to focus you've got basically the sun shining in their face and the light squinting and they can't lip read just the basic rules I would definitely change the awareness people have because people just don't seem to be very aware of deafness, how it affects different people, that it's a spectrum disorder. What I would change about deafness is not actually deafness itself, itself. it would be hearing people and their perceptions. So I've had a lot of judgment myself being deaf. I've been told, oh, well, you can't be deaf because you're not an old person. You know, you can't be deaf, you speak. So things like that need to change, definitely. 100% that's got to change because deafness affects anybody. It would change the fact that people need to have a bit more patience and be understanding. There isn't the understanding and the awareness. And I do think things like this are a massive, massive breakthrough. Things like the, um, the sign language laws and legislations that are coming into place. Uh, also amazing at trying to push think, things like this forward as well. And, Things like that have got to be the change. Deaf people need their voices heard. That is the key key component is deaf people need to be seen and heard, not hidden away. Hey.